Alright, this is my Congo gameplay that I had. I mentioned in my last video. Uh, this is possibly the best I've ever done in a game. I won't say gameplay wise, but in terms of EXP that I gained. Uh, the last time I played my Congo, or maybe it was a couple times before that, I ended up scoring a Citadel hit, or I scored two Citadel hits from over 16 kilometers away and almost destroyed a ship at the very beginning of the match. So, I think that was pretty good, but you know, this, in terms of raw EXP, this is my best game. Of course, this also has the uh, daily bonus, because this is the first time I played the ship today. It's the only time I played the ship today. Uh, anyway, yeah. I think I mentioned this in my last video, but I hadn't played this game in a couple of days because I wasn't in town, so, you know, didn't have my computer. So, you know, came back and played some of the best games I've ever had, like, best matches I've ever had since I, you know, began playing the open beta, or closed beta, sorry. It's, the beta is not open, it is still closed. <laughs> You know, so you know, I see this battleship, and you know, I ended up shooting. I didn't really expect any uh, shots to, you know, hit at this distance, but you know, I was hoping I shot, you know, all my shots ended up either behind it or in front of it, meaning it was a pretty decent shot all around. It's just RNG decided that it would spread it around everywhere. So most of the enemy team seems to be going either to A or C. There's somebody in B, which is a destroyer. Yeah, I fired there trying to get that battleship and all of my shots hit that island. Because I was not paying attention to where I was navigating. Yeah, I really do like the Congo. The enemy team like, taken the I hate how slow battleships are and how terrible they are at maneuvering, but I really do like the Congo itself. You know, this is a Yubari. I think that's one of the premium uh, pre-order ships. I was thinking of shooting at it, but you know, it ended up. I knew that at its speed, there was no way I was going to be able to hit it. And I turned my camera this way so that my uh, cannons or turrets would start um, turning. I know that there's a button you can press to just make them turn automatically, but you know, it doesn't work half the time I tried to do it, so I just decided, you know, I'm just gonna look that way. And then there's torpedo gun incoming. However, they disappeared. Torpedoes have a maximum range, so whoever launched them wasn't aiming at me, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Our team has taken the lead. That's uh, quite a bit of damage right there. I'd say about ten thousand, maybe. This game is all about leading the target and being able to judge how far you need to lead the target. And that's a Congo. Yeah, Congo. I think this match is, yeah, it only consists of tier 3 to 5s, so, yeah, alright. The enemy has more battleships than we do, but we have one more uh, aircraft carrier, the Wingley. So here I'm just waiting for it to come, across, uh, come out from the uh, islands, and then I fire. I did not get a single citadel hit, but I did do quite a bit of damage. I think all of those were probably medium hits, or medium damage hits. And right there, I tried to use my scout plane, and I completely pressed the wrong button. So I ended up using one of my healings. Because I am stupid. <laughs> no idea why I pressed Y instead of T. 
had to go out of my way in order to press Y. So even though I'm not getting uh, Citadel hits, I'm still doing decent damage against the uh, Congo. That's not a Congo, that's the Miyogi. Yeah. Sorry. The Miyogi has those uh, steam pipes, the, uh, I guess, where they burn coal or something. Or I guess that would be petroleum, wouldn't it? Uh, whatever. The Miyogi does not have a giant uh, bridge. See, I didn't want to shoot all of my uh, cannons out right then because, you know, I was like, oh, it takes me forever to reload those. And then I was like, well, I didn't kill it, so I guess I should fire. So I fired, and it ended up dying before my shots hit. So somebody else got that kill. And then that Congo destroyed my scout. I know I can shoot here, but it's not really a good angle, but I ended up doing it anyway. I was also kind of waiting to see if I could, like, just shoot all of my cannons at once. Then here I was like, oh crap, I'm about to collide with him. However, I don't want to get on the other side of, or I don't want to get on this side of him because my cannon turned facing in the correct direction. But I ended up having to do that anyway. So now all my cannons are facing the wrong direction. And none of them are, you know, reloaded. And I just spent, a, that was a lot of um, health I just took. A damage I took. So I tried to heal myself. We traded shots and then just, you know, went on our own ways. Now this is the St. Louis, I believe. Uh, decided that I'm going to try to shoot this. And I completely miss. It began to turn faster than I predicted, and so all of my shots just completely missed it. There's a perfectly good Miyogi right there. Here I'm gauging which target I should go for, and I'm trying to see if I can find the uh, enemy, the r remaining enemy destroyer, but you know, I can't, so I'm just, whatever, you know, let's go after this Miyogi. Only got one of those shots, and I got three shots, okay. It's decent damage, 4,000. And now there's another, uh, I believe it's a Congo. Yep. And I decide that I'm gonna go for that. It's 12.3 kilometers away. I have a decent chance of hitting it, but it's still protected by an island. So, you know. I hit it with two, I think. It was three. No, two. Just two hits. So, you know, I at least hit it, but, you know, the enemy didn't really get a good shot, lead. and my ally is about to, uh... Well, my ally is ahead of me, so I can't continue on this pathway. I'm gonna ram my ally into the, uh, island, so I decided to turn to the left and try to turn my turrets. However, I'm not reloaded, and I'm only gonna be able to fire two of my turrets. Instead of all four of them. So I went ahead, you know, unloaded it into the uh, Congo, and I ended up getting a Citadel hit. That's over 22,000 damage I just dealt to that enemy Congo. That's pretty good. Well, Citadel shots are pretty good, you know, are always pretty good. So, you know, got my turrets in the correct direction, and I almost killed it. But, my shot. And so, that's the second time I was about to kill something and was unsuccessful at doing so. And here, I had a terrible issue with getting caught on fire. <laughs> this St. Louis, I really wish I would have killed it earlier because it just keeps catching me on fire. <laughs> No, I have no idea why it's using high explosive rounds against me. 
When you go up against a battleship, you should almost always use armor piercing. However, there are some cases, which I guess this was a good case for it to be using high explosive because it kept catching me on fire. Which I guess is good. But it was annoying for me. It was good it was a good play on his part, but usually you don't go up against a uh battleship in a uh using high explosive realms. So you know I decided that I was going to go and try to get revenge on this uh, St. Louis for catching me on fire, but I miss all of my shots. <laughs> However, these were a little bit more on par. 6,000 damage out of four, or with four hits. Just gotta hope that nobody actually steals this kill from me this time. However, I'm also not going to be uh, reloaded until it goes behind the island, which it crashed into. There's also the destroyer was has launched torpedoes at me, <laughs> so I decided I'm gonna go after the torpedo the destroyer. However, I'm getting a lot of damage done to me because I have two fires on my ship, and I just crashed into the island. But the enemy, I think it's the Isokaze, has just shot all of its other um, torpedoes, and I get that kill. I also got a We've Citadel hit. However, I'm still in a bad position. I am backing up. I can only go about seven knots backing Our up. Result, and there's an enemy destroyer behind me. And these destroyers don't have two minute reload times. I believe they only have about one minute reload time. So I need to get out of there now. However, if I go straight, I'll be heading straight into the enemy fleet. But I believe that's a little bit better since I can take damage, but I cannot take torpedoes. So I decide that I'm going to go over to towards the enemy fleet. And then the enemy destroyer does something that it shouldn't have. It started shooting at me. <laughs> now I didn't spot it, but it's very obvious like it's coming towards me now and towards the end of the uh the exit of the area, yeah, like right there, I can see it now. So it gave away its position. Scout, returning the ship. And I ended up doing 4,000 damage Target against it. Penetrated. Now, there's one thing that I can tell you about this guy. When you, if you play carrier in this game, you have to give your torpedoes time to arm. And you'll see this happen. I screwed up like twice trying to dodge torpedoes and I dodged the wrong way. And I ended up giving the torpedoes enough time to uh, arm and I ended up get, taking some damage. But those torpedoes didn't tell them. They did not have enough time to arm. And this destroyer launched torpedoes at me and all of my shots just missed. However, he did not predict that I would be moving this way, which is, you know... He probably was thinking that I had, like, tunnel vision or something, so, you know... I can give him the benefit of the doubt for that. But now there are two Kongo versus one Isokaze. There's a Miyoki on the other side as well. This Isokaze is not having a good time. But... I have no idea which one I should go for because there's more torpedo bombers coming towards me. So, this guy should have been launching his torpedoes from about two kilometers away. I believe that's how long it takes for the uh, torpedoes to arm. Had he given them enough time to arm, I would have gotten hit. Wait. Oh, this is the wrong one, yeah. That one, I die. I, I did get hit. But. Later on, he does mess up with the arming of his torpedoes again, where he would have hit me about like five times or something, but he, in the, he ended up not hitting me at all. It's been a while since I've seen this map. I probably played this match like three hours ago. <laughs> so it's a little fuzzy on the details, but I do know that... I screwed up a couple of times, and he screwed up a couple of times, so you know, it, it's all good. And that's a Miyugi, I believe. Yes, it's a Miyugi. Here's some more uh, torpedo bombers. 
I really want to get this enemy uh, carrier. You know, have them stop dropping torpedoes on me. Even if most of the time they like don't arm correctly. <laughs> So I'm trying to turn to the left here, but I'm also really trying to focus down this, uh... I mean, that's the one I was thinking that was just about to happen, but the, uh... Torpedoes didn't have enough time to arm, and as such, none of them hit me. I don't know how long torpedoes, or how much uh, arm time that torpedoes have, but it's at least one kilometer. I think it's two kilometers, but I'm not positive. But now there's some more torpedo bombers coming, and I really want to get down, uh, just knock out this carrier. So I'm not paying attention at all. I got a citadel hit, so it's almost dead. And then I get out of here, and I start turning away from the torpedo bombers. I should not have done this though, because I gave the torpedoes enough time to arm, and I end up getting hit three times. <laughs> We're taking on water quickly. I also use all of my uh, ship repairs earlier because, you know, I accidentally used my ship repair when I was trying to use my uh, scout plane. <laughs> However, I end up getting this kill. But I also die as well. <laughs> Enemy aircraft carrier so I ended up getting two kills. You know, that's pretty decent. I ended up getting about 5,000 uh, experience for this. It was a good match. Oh, I feel so bad for my Congo though. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Oh, I really do like the ship designs in this game. Well, I mean, it's kind of what they look like in real life too, but you know, I think you get what I'm trying to say. Anyway. No, enemy only has one more uh, battleship and it just destroyed, so that's it.